guys, it's Moz here from Moz6510 Models and today on the workbench I have this catalogue and this was the catalogue that was produced at the very end of Frog's existence because it wasn't long after this catalogue was released, Frog became no more. 1976 This was the last catalogue that Frog produced and unfortunately the toolings were distributed amongst a lot of i think it was eastern european which is i want you know which is good because the eastern europeans took on a lot of the tooling so if you had a nova kit or even now arc models they have some of the frog kits in their collection so if there's anything that you fancy building frog just check them out nova well i don't think nova exists anymore i think it's just arc models basically do the uh, you have the tooling for the old frog kits. So, yeah, it's a bit of a tragedy, really. But anyways, if you've not been on this channel before, I film catalogues from my stash page by page. And I try to film them in the best quality possible. And to see them in the best quality possible, I suggest that you go to the cog settings, click quality and select 1080p. If you think I'm turning the pages too quickly, obviously you can slow that down by going to the cog settings clicking playback speed and selecting 0.5 or 0.25 or you can just press pause if something catches your eye just press pause and then when you're ready press play only 10 percent of the people who watch these types of videos are subscribers and it would really help the channel if you could just click subscribe and if you want to be notified when i put these videos out just ring the bell and remember to subscribe is absolutely free so let's get into this catalog the very last 1976 frog catalogue. Enjoy. So in this catalogue, there's not really much to say. <laughs> it's um, 
obviously it was it's sad you know frog were make major with airfix back in the day and unfortunately things didn't go so well and uh it it can't finally uh gave up and in this catalog here was the last of their range really you can see here straight off it's all in this they have different languages because it's an international one so quality that counts you know it's saying here that it has been um, movable propellers good molding, de molding details you can have alternative parts good landing gear authentic markings and it does have movable rudders and then it says here many frog kits have alternative parts including weapon load single two-seater undercarriage variations of floats skis and wheels and it's just really nice how they've, they've set this all out they were very good at telling you exactly what you got so if you've got the avril shackleton mark three tells you the wingspan how many parts it is coastal command and then there's the box art for it there's a model of it built on you know but most of it's all box art in this catalog these were released in 1976 so you've got the bomber boeing b-17 flying fortress is there that was i think that was one of the last kits they were putting out there i believe it says in 1976 so this i can prove them wrong go on scare makes and see and these are the black series which is their bog standard 1 to 72 scale and you know 30 parts 26 parts you know going down through the, the Haviland vampire i have that in the stash you know i was half tempted to build it but now i'm going to keep it in its box moving through you know these are these have been around for years there's the spitfire mark 8 or 9 very good kit i enjoyed building that it the, the cockpit crap right there was hardly anything in it but it was 1970s you know they didn't really think about what was inside they cared about what it looked on the outside fit wasn't too bad it was raised panel lines because most of the frog stuff was raised panel lines but yeah it was really good there's the heinkel he 162 salamander and there you go they're, they're basically that's what the box looks like painting guide on the back very nice this is their blue series so a little bit one up so a few more parts in these you're looking between 50 and 80 parts there you go, there's the Hawker Sea Fury, 56 parts. Looks very nice. Looking forward to Airfix's version of that one coming out soon. Their, their Hawker Sea Fury. There you go. You can see there is the colour painting guide on the back there showing you how to build that lightning. There's the Wildcat, Wildcat Mark IV. There's the Hellcat F Mark I. I've got a couple of these in the stock stash now because I'm hoping to see whether Academy stole stole the uh, stole the design. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, it's not bad. This is what I mean by the top opening box. You know, that is the best ever top opening box ever. Frog nailed it with the top opening box. And, you know, to have it like this, with the flap, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. If, if, if scale model manufacturers brought out boxes like this our life because you just put the parts back in and lift it up put it down i do have a video if you've got a top opening box i'll link it here on how to make your top opening box into a flappy box like this it's a great video go and watch it but that that there is to me that that is frog nailed it when it comes to top opening boxes i will we'll move on so yeah moving on through there's their red series you know I, all very nice all, all these all the box art on the side look at swordfish there mark one also on the box if it's a it shows you here what the color is so so frog is that you see so you've got red the frog color if you keep if you just go back here and see it there's your black color range and there's your blue you see you got blue on that one see blue and blue so yeah so that's how you knew by just looking at the box if it was a green series does it say in the catalog what it meant by the series? I don't think it does. I don't think it does what it means, what it actually means. But it seems to be a lot more bigger, more complex. I think the, the color is different. It's the complex of the, of the kit. How many parts there is? There's the orange series there. You've got 80 parts there, 60 parts. I don't think it says scales though, does it? it doesn't say what the scale is, unfortunately um on these there's that lightning that's definitely a one to 72 scale because i've built that lightning 
Moving on through, then you've got the purple, which is more their bolts. There you go. Oh, the lightning is an orange. That must be that must be one to seventy-two scale. That must be one to seventy-two scale. Anyway, moving through, there's the orange. Colour painting guide, just telling you how to paint. Always carefully follow the details given. And then basically they have like pictures on how to uh, it's construction aids they call it. So, you know, paint paint some of the pieces on the sprue, cut them with a knife. Use a peg to keep them. There's so many ways of keeping the parts go using pegs or rubber bands, filing it down, scraping away the putty. You know, it's all bog standard, spraying it. That's how they do the mottling effect, I think. So you just get a um, you get a bit of paper and um, get a hole puncher, just punch holes in it, then just spray on top of it. Quite a good idea. And there you are. How to put decals on. Fantastic. And there you go. Uh, Rovex, we will miss you. And that was the last ever frog catalogue from 1976. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified on any new videos. Any questions, any comments, leave them in the box below and I do reply. And if you've built any of these kits, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.